Hi friends, Haley here from the Foiled Clan. If you're new here, welcome, and if you are already a foiled friend, then welcome back. As you may or may not know, I share a wide variety of tutorials here on my YouTube channel, and I like to keep things slower paced so it feels more like two friends hanging out and crafting together. I like to keep things less intimidating and more motivating. So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I blinged out some cool shoes for a trip to Disney. So let's get into it. All right, so to get started, first I'm going to remove the shoelaces. And these shoes are just a really inexpensive pair from a store here in Canada that I call Ardeen's. When you're actually in the store though and you hear any of their promotions over their speaker system, they refer to it as Arden. It's kind of like the whole sheen, sheen, shine. Anyways, these shoes are from Ardeen's. And um, because they are supposed to be purple wall themed from Disney, I am drawing triangles all over them. And in order to get relatively straight lines, I'm just using my measuring tape because it kind of contours to the shape of the shoe, which is really nice. I made sure that I did the tongue as well because I wanted that to have bling on it. If you don't, obviously just avoid that. All of the bling that I'm using for these shoes are from Amazon. They come in a tiny package and they're all different sizes, but one single color. And I have them linked in my Amazon shop if you'd like to purchase those. And the bling tool that I'm using to apply them is from shopantite.com, which I also have linked in my description box below if you wanna do some shopping there. This is my favorite bling tool that I've ever used. I've used a few of them and it's got a really nice wax tip that you can replace. And then the other end, that precision tool, um, or like the precision point, I don't really know what it's called, but it's really nice for making adjustments and moving things around. So I love that. Anyways, we're starting off with the blinged lines um, that go around the perimeter of each of the triangles. And I started there just because I wanted all of those to be the exact same size. So like I said, the packages of bling, they are multiple sizes. So first I went through and selected all the same size bling and uh, it just made it look more uniform in the end. And uh, when I did the inside of each of the triangles, then we used all different sizes of the purple blings just to make sure that they all um, really filled in the space nicely and it worked great. So it's a very tedious process and when you're working with glue like this, which I didn't mention it before, but the glue that I'm using is E6000 and it's available on Amazon, at most craft stores, even some hardware stores and Walmart, places like that. So that's what I'm using. There's lots of different glue or adhesive options that you can use out there. This is just what I had, so that's what I'm using. And uh, I work in small sections at a time because this stuff gets tacky and starts to dry really, really quickly. So you have to move quickly and just work in small areas. So. To make it a little bit easier to apply, I got some, some small syringes on Amazon and I just filled up the syringe. And it doesn't have like a needle point on it or anything like that, it's just the plastic syringe part. But I filled it up with the E6000 and it just gives me more control over the glue app application. My goodness, I can't speak today. Um, because if you've worked with E6000 or other similar adhesives before, you know that when you're using, using the actual tube and you push some of the glue out of it, it will just keep coming out and uh, it's hard to get it to stop. And rather than having to put the lid on every single time you're done doing one little line to stop it from pushing more glue out, this is just a nice, easy way. And like I said, it uh, offers more control. So I definitely recommend doing that. And the syringes that I've used, I've also linked those. I actually have a list that's specifically all the supplies I use for bling. And uh, that's in my Amazon shop. These bling trays are wonderful as well. They have little ridges in them. So when you dump the bling into them, you just give it a light shake 
and then it'll flip the actual bling or the rhinestones up the right way so that you can easily pick them with your bling tool. Definitely recommend getting something at least like this, if not these ones. They're, uh, they're a great addition. Once I was finished with the outlines, I made sure to let the shoe just sit for a little bit of time so that the glue could dry a bit more. It doesn't have to be super dry to move on. It's just nice to make sure it's at the point of dryness where the bling or the rhinestones are not gonna move if you accidentally brush your hand against them because when we move on to the next part of the application, I do find I pick up and move the shoe around quite a bit depending on which side of the shoe I'm working on. So yeah, just make sure it's dry and then move on. I definitely prefer using all different sizes when doing a filler area like this. It to me fills the spot much nicer than using all uniform sizing, uh, especially when there's little corners of your shapes and you can really make sure you get in there with the tiniest bling and it just looks so much more sparkly in my humble opinion. <laughs> now I didn't really pre-plan which color I wanted each of the shapes to be. I just sort of decided as I went and I tried to make it so that the colors that were the same didn't overlap a whole lot. They just sort of maybe touched or um, the overlapping was really quite small. So I'm working with the same color and doing as many shapes, like filling in the shapes as possible. And then I switched over and started to add the darker color purple on the rest of them. And at this point in time, you'll notice I switched bling tools and that's because unfortunately the tip on my bling tool got pretty dull. So it was uh, a little bit challenging to pick up the stones. So my replacement tips hadn't come in yet. So I was just waiting on those. But uh, in the meantime, I used my backup tools, which were from Amazon. They come in a three pack, all different colors. And uh, I have those linked in my Amazon shop if you want to snag those exact ones. But anyways, that's why my bling tool changed partway through blinging these shoes. And now I'm just using the second color of purple to fill in the rest of the shapes. And now that I've done this, I would recommend, and this is how I would do it next time if I was gonna do this again, um, I would work on one side of the shoe, make sure that that is finished how I like, let it sit and dry before turning the shoe over to do the other side. Just because I found that when I did a whole section, it was still pretty tacky and there was still movement with the stones if you were, if you happen to like push on any of them. So having the shoe lay completely on its side, uh, some of the stones did move around and I didn't notice until I flipped the shoe back over. And then at that point, they were kind of already to the point of being dry enough where they weren't gonna move anymore. Uh, so I did have to pull a few of the stones off and replace them and uh, yeah so that's just I would avoid doing that next time so learn from my mistakes <laughs> now one tip that I want to mention is how to easily fill your syringe with your glue because the first few times that I did this there was air bubbles in it and it was kind of a disaster I found the easiest way is to pull the plunger out of the syringe and then insert the tip of the E6000 into the syringe. And I kind of have it on an angle, almost horizontal, but not quite. And um, basically you want the air bubble that's in there to be all along one side so that once you put the plunger in, you can push that air bubble right out the tip of the syringe and it's not going to force any of your glue out. So if you need to, you may have to, after you've added the glue to the syringe, you may have to just tilt it to its side a little bit to let the glue kind of settle just to one side so that air bubble can easily be pushed out. Hopefully that makes sense. That's what I found most helpful when I was filling up my syringes. Once you've finished applying all of your rhinestones, I recommend letting the shoes sit for about 24 hours before lacing them up and trying them on. 
Now, I originally blinged these shoes out back in March of 2022, but the footage that you're seeing right now is from today and it's nearly the end of September of 2022. So I just wanted to show how well these have held up over time. I managed to wear these to a few of the different Disney parks on my trip back in April and I've worn them throughout the spring and summer. So they've held up really well. And as you can see, the only spot where stones came off was right here. So two of the stones came off and that part of the shoe is the part that actually creases while you walk. So I did bring extra glue and stones with me on my trip and I didn't end up needing them, but these stones actually just came off recently. So these have held up really well over time. This is just some of the footage from when I went to the Disney parks. These are modeled after the purple wall, which is right here. I was so excited to be there. I did a quick outfit change to become Ariel inspired, but I still rocked my purple shoes. Then I wore my bling shoes to Creativation, which is actually what the main purpose of the trip was. And I totally matched the floors, which was fun. And I can't tell you how many comments or compliments I got on my bling shoes. And if you're a crafter, you know the best feeling in the world is when someone gives you a compliment on something and you can say, thanks, I made it myself. I hope this tutorial inspires you to create your own blinged out shoes. And if it did, I hope you'll post a picture on Instagram and tag me so that I can see how they turned out, give you your virtual high five and share it in my stories. All right, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments section below. As always, materials are pretty well all from Amazon. I'll link that in the description box so you can see everything that I used. And if you want to hang out with me in between videos, my social media is linked below. I hope you have a super awesome day and that's all I'm going to say. Bye.